Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to the webinar. We have a special webinar. Um, we have Mr. Rod Hines, and he's with the Antigua and Barbuda Tourism Board. How are you, Mr. Rod? I am fabulous. I can't believe that you said Antigua correctly because <laughs> most people say Antigua, but Listen, it's I've actually had some Antigua. Practice. <laughs> and you said it correctly. That's right. It's a, it's a pleasure to be here, Tyra. Thanks for inviting me. I well, have. Thank you so much for being oh, it's here. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. I, I've prepared a nice little presentation uh, for your for your agents with video and all that sort of stuff. And I think by the end of the presentation, everyone should want to come to Antigua and Barbuda. Listen, we're excited. It is all you. Take it away. Take it away. All right, let's get started. We're going to show you start with a a, a, a short video, which is uh, performed by one of our reggae uh, artists um, uh, in Antigua. I See the black in the flag that you see For the people, for the strength, for the unity See the blue that is blue as the sea So pure and so clean, so much serenity Anything that you want, you can find it about ya. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Forget your troubles and come, come take a load off your shoulder. Tell me, what do you see? Wouldn't it be nice to be bathing in the sun? Antigua may come from 365, we have beaches all around. Antigua. shoulders when your feet touch the ground feel the energy feel the richness and the culture that surrounds you so delicious is the foods and its variety and if you want to escape this is the place to be oh yes enjoy the sun and the beach and the sweet cold breeze tell me how do you feel wouldn't it be nice to be come from that i love that, it you like that huh well i tell you it's, it's a very catchy kind of a song and it, it gives you a, the, a real nice flavor of our destination and if you like the song you can actually google it you can go on uh, youtube for example and uh, just pull up antigua me come from and listen to that video by caution um well welcome to our presentation this is me that's a mugshot of me i'm your senior business development manager <laughs> for the southeast this is uh my information uh, rod Hines at visit antigua and barbuda 
uh, Mr. Ampey, that's my email, and that's my telephone number. You're welcome to contact me anytime you need if you have any questions about our about the destination, etc. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that beautiful water. Beautiful. We have 300, actually the video says 365 beaches. In actual fact, we have 366 beaches. Wow. So we have a beach for every day of the year and one for the leap year as well. It is an absolutely beautiful, stunningly gorgeous destination. One of the safest destinations in the Caribbean. That is what your clients are interested in. Safety, very safe, beautiful, beautiful destination. And the waters are absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful beaches, beautiful turquoise waters, lots of uh, activity, lots of fun. Look at that, look at that shot. Wow. Isn't this spectacular? And yes. in, in, in uh, Antigua, we're known for our beaches. Now in Barbuda, our sister island, the sand is pink, pink sand. Oh. So I wanted to uh, share with your agents also that we'd love to see you become Antigua and Barbuda specialists. This link at the bottom where it says www.antigaandbarbudaspecialist.us. That is where you register and take the course to become a specialist. It takes 15 minutes to become a specialist. And once you view this video, you're, all, all of the answers to the course are essentially in this video. 15 minutes. But then once you become a specialist, there are all kinds of incentives. You get, you get first choice to our fam trips. You get you can register your bookings and earn cash, a ton of incentives. So the key thing is I'd like for your agents to become Antigua and Barbuda specialists uh, at their leisure. And it takes 15 minutes to do that. Where are we? We're right in the heart of the Caribbean. Hopefully you can see it. I'm not sure if the pictures are hiding it, but we are right in the heart of the Caribbean. It's a very tiny island. Antigua is actually 150 eight square miles and Barbuda is uh, a, a lot a lot smaller than that. Barbuda is uh, uh, lies 27 miles northeast of Antigua and it's 62 square miles. So right in the heart of the Caribbean, easy to get there. You can get there by cruise. All of the crew, all the major cruise ships come into our harbor, including some of the largest cruise ships in the world. Of course, these are the uh, these are the nonstop connecting flights out of Miami, uh, Orlando, uh, Atlanta, Charlotte, Newark, and JFK nonstop into Antigua on these airlines. Okay, so all major airlines come into it. We have the best airport in the Caribbean, and I'm not just saying that it really has been rated top airport in the Caribbean. VC Bird International Airport. It has a fast track lounge and an executive lounge for your clients who are arriving and departing uh, the, uh, the destination. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. And of course, in terms of, uh, in terms of uh, requirements, all you need is a passport. You know, COVID is over, so we have no more, in, in, no more uh, of those restrictions. All you need now is your passport. Passport will travel and you can come to Antigua and Barbuda where the beach is just the beginning. It is one of the most romantic spots anywhere in the Caribbean. It is absolutely gorgeous. It is just stunning, very, very uh, romantic. It, as a matter of fact, for several years in a row, it has been voted the top romantic destination in the Caribbean. I'm gonna show you a little video now uh, to give you a sense of how romantic it is. Memories together are created to last a lifetime. Imagine a wedding amidst 365 white sand beaches in the Caribbean's most romantic destination, Antigua and Barbuda. Famous for spectacular venues, breathtaking views, and charming allure, your wedding in paradise is enchanting and carefree. From the moment you arrive, specialized professionals make tying the knot simple. Just be 18 years or older, have a valid passport, and pay U.S. $37 registration fee at the Ministry of Justice and Legal Affairs. For ceremonies outside the courthouse, there is an additional fee of U.S. $100 for a marriage officer. The wedding must take place between the magic hours of 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. in the presence of two or more witnesses. There is no waiting period to get married. Other requirements and fees may apply in certain circumstances, but here, we make it easy for you. From the shoreline of a secluded beach to the bow of a luxury yacht, private villa or hotel, to the scenic spots or historic church, 
Envision your perfect wedding in paradise with the pizzazz of an exotic and distinct Antigua and Barbuda experience. 365 of the Caribbean's most extraordinary beaches is just the beginning. Yep, yep, yep. So it's very, very easy to get married. You can literally step off the plane and get married on the tarmac. It's that easy. There's, there's no waiting period. I don't know about the divorces. We don't handle divorces. But uh, it's quite easy to get married. Now, in terms of, uh, uh, of excursions, we have lots of activity on the island. Stingray City, we have kiteboarding, circumnavigation cruise. That's one of my favorites. I recommend that highly if you have clients coming in. Essentially what it is, is a catamaran that goes around the island. There are two of them. I, I think there's, a, there's, there's one uh, barbecue uh, catamaran cruise that cruises around the entire island so you get to see all the beaches. And then there's also a sunset cruise in the evening. But that's some fun. Um, there's, there's lots of activity. There's land activities. There's, there's a donkey ride for the kids, buggies. There's a rainforest. There are a ton of activity. Two lovely golf courses for your clients who are interested in golfing. And of course, the golfing uh, arrangements can be uh, arranged. Uh, tea times can be arranged right at the concierge at your hotel. This particular shot is one of the uh, most uh, Instagrammable shots that we have on the island. This is actually taken looking down at Nelson's dockyard. Um, and this particular area, this shot right here, Shirley's Height. Shirley's Height is a wonderful kind of an activity that happens on a Sunday. This is something that you want to send your clients to for sure. It's a fabulous kind of a, uh, the Caribbean's largest barbecue, essentially. What it is, is you go up in the hill, you watch the sun set, as soon as the sun set, it turns into one giant party with calypso music and reggae music, and you've got all the locals and all of the people, uh, the, the guests on the island, and it's one massive giant uh, barbecue party that happens on a Sunday. And uh, most of the hotels- This sounds like so much fun. Oh, it is, it is, it is a lot of fun. And I mean, I, you know, I go there all the time and I'm always dancing on, on, on top of the tables. But, <laughs> um, and, and uh, the hotels, no matter where you're staying, the hotels always provide transfers to Shirley Heights on Sundays. So that oh. can be arranged with the concierge. Um, this is Nelson's Dockyard. Uh, we have sport fishing tournaments, we have turtle watching, there's all kinds of local cuisine, lovely restaurants across the island. The thing about Antigua is that it's a very safe destination. So even though you're staying in one of our all-inclusive hotels that with, with all your food and all that included, you're welcome to go off property anytime you want and dine or go shopping in our capital, St. John's, it's a, without having to worry about any, any bother whatsoever. You can hop on a local bus or you can take a taxi, whatever. And uh, it's a safe and absolutely gorgeous destination. Of course, Carnival is one of our biggest celebrations. Antigua Carnival is a big, big event. Happens the first Monday and Tuesday in August. And uh, it's a lot of fun, lots of fun. Now I'm gonna show you some family friendly resorts. Uh, Jumbie Bay Island. Jumbie Bay Island is actually a private island uh, just off the coast of Antigua where it's very, very upscale. This is for your really your best clients. Just to give you an idea, Oprah Winfrey actually has an apartment uh, on Jumbie Bay Island. So this is the place where you fly into uh, VC Bird International Airport. They pick you up and take you uh, on, a, on a, a little boat ride over to this private island, which is just off the coast of Antigua. Uh, and uh, you are in Jumbie Bay, which is a very high-end upscale uh, resort, just absolutely phenomenally gorgeous. Uh, great for families too, by the way, Jumbie Bay. Blue Waters Resort is one of our uh, uh, other properties right on the island of Antigua. Gorgeous, he's got villa accommodations. There's some villa accommodations here with their own private plunge pools. Beautiful, lovely dining options. Fully, it's an all-inclusive, but you can also do an EP option here if you wanted to but it's a fabulous sort of blue waters with lovely accommodations. And, I, and as I said earlier, with villa, if you have clients that are interested in having their own private villa, we've got villa accommodations here at Blue Waters Resort uh, with their own pool and all that sort of stuff. Just gorgeous. Rob, Look for the that. agents that don't understand EP, um, EP is European plan. Um, European so plan, yeah. Of, um, yeah. European plan, right? essentially European plan is a breakfast. You have your breakfast and then you're, you can, you're welcome to go off property and, and, and have dinner, lunch in some of the local restaurants. EP plan generally includes breakfast only 
uh, while the all-inclusive is all your meals, drinks, the whole bit. So there are some folks that would prefer to come to the island and then explore off property, you know, and 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 and, and dine, going to our capital, and you know, whatever, you know. So they want to, they don't want to enjoy maybe the uh, the, the restaurants um, on property, which most people do. Most people would prefer the all-inclusive option because then you pay one price and you don't have to worry about anything. You can eat as much as you want, you drink as much as you want, champagne, all yeah. that sort of stuff. You know, so yeah. Hodges Bay. So I'm just giving you a, an overview of some of our hotels that we have. This is another one of our family resorts, Hodges Bay. We have some really, really fabulous hotels in Antigua, and you know, and 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 really, really nice, very upscale kind of a destination. We have three star, four star, five star hotels uh, across the island. Curtain Bluff is another uh, uh, virtuoso type property uh, in Antigua, uh, ideal for families as well. Gorgeous, uh, ceiling fans, air conditioned, great accommodations, uh, ev everything that you would expect in a world-class property. Curtain Bluff, that's one of our properties. Carlisle Bay is another resort. Look, and look at the look at the, the background of, for Carlisle Bay. Carlisle Bay actually is adults and and families. The families actually stay in the accommodations that are right on the beach, and the adults are staying in the other accommodations with the red roofs. So this is, and uh, and uh, this property, if you have younger kids, if you have teens, whatever, it's ideal for everyone, including families. Curtin, uh, Carlisle Bay. Uh, this, the, I would say this is a five-star property. Now, if you have clients who are interested in villa accommodations, I've seen villa accommodations all over the Caribbean. I have never seen quite uh, 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 villa accommodations that are as gorgeous as these. This is called Tamman Hill Villas. It's relatively new, but the accommodations here are absolutely spectacular. Beautiful accommodations. It is not all inclusive. They've got restaurants and property where you can eat and all that sort of stuff. And it, it's also the kind of place where if you wanted to have your own butler, you can you can hire your own butler and they can come in and prepare meals for you and all that. But it is stunningly beautiful for folks who are looking for a villa type accommodation. And of course, we have Royalton. Royalton Antigua is really fabulous. Good for everyone. Lot, they do a lot of groups here, a lot of groups. And you'll notice also that Royalton has over-the-water bungalows. You see them right there. I think one, two, three, well, I have about seven or so over-the-water bungalows. Now, those over-the-water bungalows are actually adults only. Uh, they have their own, uh, their own uh, pool and all that sort of stuff. It's they're gorgeous. I mean, the living room is essentially over the water. So as you're walking in the living room, you can see the fish as you're walking. It's just gorgeous. And of course, uh, the property is great also for uh, for families because they've got a really amazing kids club, lots of restaurants. Um, but this is big. Uh, this is a, a big property for groups. If you're doing group business. You know, the Royalton is just fabulous. Uh, apart from the over-the-water bungalows, they've also got fabulous uh, accommodations as well. Royalton is, I would say, solid four-star property. And this is a shot of some of the over-the-water bungalows at the Royalton. Nonsuch Bay, a resort and villas, is another one of our properties that's ideal uh, for families with great accommodations. You know, it's, it's difficult to, to find or to not find uh, a, a resort in Antigua that doesn't have a, a plunge pool. Some, uh, most resorts have, most of our properties have their own private plunge pools. South Point Resort, this is a sort of a three-star property uh, right in the harbor uh, in Antigua, South Point, Antigua. So now I'm gonna show you some, you, you, some of you might be familiar with Elite Island Resorts in the Caribbean. Uh, Elite has five properties uh, in Antigua. And by the way, Elite Island Resorts, just be, you should be familiar with that name because they pay travel agents 20% commission on direct bookings. So keep that in mind. Veranda Resort and Spa, I'm actually going to be there uh, shortly. Uh, Veranda Resort and Spa is a beautiful family all-inclusive resort. It's ideal for everyone. And up up in this area here, up in the, uh, the left, the, 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 I'm not sure if you're going to see my arrow here, if you see my arrow. Yeah, I can these, see it. Good, but well, these are uh, um, uh, uh, two bedroom villas with their own private plunge pools. But this is the overview of the resort. This is the main pool. They've got, this is a beach right here. They, now you notice that there's steps leading down to the main beach. 
So this can be this might be a little challenging for folks for folks who may have issues with steps. There are some steps that leads to the main beach, but then there's another beach on the other side where you just walk directly onto the beach. The veranda is just gorgeous with fabulous accommodations, very affordable property. All of the rooms are identical, not identical, but they're, they're all air conditioned with ceiling fans and all that really, really uh, uh, affordable resort for families and for anyone actually. And uh, this is the main pool. It has one of the largest pools on the island. This is the all where all the restaurants are. These are the two bedroom villas up here. This is all the restaurants. This is the main pool. Just gorgeous, just gorgeous. And the entire pool is four and a half feet deep. So, and there are several pools, including this one. There's an adult only pool. There's the new infinity pool. The, the, this one is right on the beach. So there are several pools. This particular pool, I think is an adults only pool at the veranda, okay? Uh, St. James's Club and Villas is another family friendly resort. You'll also notice that the most of our hotels in Antigua are quite intimate. Look at this one, for example. 248 rooms. So we don't have, uh, you know, huge hotels like a thousand rooms and 2,000 rooms. All of our resorts are relatively intimate. As a matter of fact, later on, I'll show you the one, the, the one of the ones that are the, the most intimate and most upscale. I think it has like 40, 40 something rooms. But this one here, St. James's Club and Villas, is absolutely gorgeous because it's got villa accommodations as well. This whole section here are all villas. Villa accommodations, this is the beach. There's another beach on this side. And then these are the, uh, this, this area is called the Royal, uh, the Royal Suites. And then these are the main accommodations over here. So it's quite nice. It's a beautiful, it looks large, but there are only 248 um, um, uh, rooms here, 248 rooms. And again, a solid four-star property idea for everyone. St. James's Club and Villas. You're looking at a junior suite right here now. Really nice accommodation, beautiful bathrooms and all that sort of stuff. All right, let's, let's move on. Now, I just showed you some resorts that are ideal for families. Let's look at some resorts now that are good for adults only. Adults only. Pineapple Beach Club. Pineapple Beach Club might be familiar to somebody because it used to be a Sandals and then it was uh, Elite Island Resorts took it over. When it was Sandals, I think it was called the Grand Pineapple. Now it's called Pineapple Beach Club and it is one of the most popular hotels on the island. Again, quite intimate, adults only, over 16 and up. 16 and up on a spectacularly beautiful beach. Three restaurants, four bars, tennis courts, uh, there's a spa. It's just gorgeous. Look at the beach. The beach is one of the best beaches in Antigua, Pineapple Beach Club. Just gorgeous. Fabulous accommodations. Again, solid four-star property and affordable. Nothing too expensive. These are quite affordable. There's a premium oceanfront uh, suite that, that, that we're looking at here at Pineapple Beach Club. Now, Galley Bay Resort and Spa, 98 rooms and suites. And this resort is a five-star property. This is just gorgeous. 98 rooms, three restaurants, lots of bars and rum shacks, a lot of water sports. Fully, all of these resorts I'm talking to you about are fully all-inclusive, by the way. Galley Bay, at Galley Bay, uh, it not only is it fully all-inclusive, but everything is a la carte. There are no buffets. It's all a la carte, and it sits on a mile-long stretch of beach. Beautiful beach. This you'll notice is also a lagoon, a bird sanctuary over here. So your guests check in in this area over here and they come across uh, the bridge and they're in a spectacularly beautiful property. There's a restaurant over here. There's a restaurant and bar right here. There's several bars in the property, another restaurant at the far end. Dining is just amazing here. Galley Bay's accommodations are absolutely fabulous. If you have clients that wanna open up a sliding glass door and walk directly onto the beach. Galley Bay Resort and Spa, which is a five-star property, would be ideal for them. You're looking here at a superior deluxe beachfront suite at Galley Bay. And again, all the rooms are fully air conditioned, ceiling fans, televisions, everything that you would expect has a little mini bar, all that sort of stuff at Galley Bay. Beautiful pool. It's the kind of place where if you're sitting at the pool and you want to have a drink, you don't have to walk over to the bar. You just press your little button on the chair and the waiter comes over and gives you your Mai Tai or your, 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 your whatever uh, drink you uh, prefer, you like. And these are what the accommodations look like. 
this particular, there are blocks. This block is, uh, there are four rooms in that block. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So you're either on the top floor or on the lower level. If you're on the lower level, you'll walk directly onto the beach. If your clients prefer to be on the, on the second floor and nothing is higher than a palm tree, they can request on, uh, to be on the second floor. So again, in each block, there are four rooms. Room here, 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 and here. <clears throat> Galley Bay, Resort and Spa. Now, I want to talk to you about Hammock Cove. Hammock Cove is actually our newest property in Antigua. You'll notice it only has 41 suites, very intimate. Each suite has its own private plunge pool. You, have your, you get your own bar, and I don't mean a mini bar, but your own fully stocked bar with whatever you prefer to have in that bar. This is the kind of place where if you drink Johnny Walker Black or if there's a certain kind of wine that you like or champagne, we want to know that in advance so that when you come in, it's there in your room waiting for you. The, this this uh, resort has a Michelin chef. So you know that everything you eat is an experience, whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner. And again, everything is a la carte. There are no buffets here, but the food is spectacular. You'll notice it says pickleball courts. Most of the hotels that I've just spoken to you about do have pickleball courts. That's a big thing now, by the way. Pickleball, I haven't played it yet, but pickleball is quite a, a popular sport. We're doing pickleball groups and all that sort of stuff uh, at Hammock Cove and some of these other properties. This is a shot, an overview of what Hammock Cove looks like. You'll notice that there are two types of, the, of accommodations. You'll see the accommodations that are closest to the beach, beachfront. You'll notice that they all have their own private plunge pools, all of them. There are 41 streets. And then there are accommodations beyond, just beyond that, same thing, but and they all have their own private plunge pool. The only difference here is that you're closer to the beach if you're on the if you're on the beachfront. And then when you and then up in this level here. There's several rooms that go all the way across, and uh, those are more like beach, uh, beach view. But all the accommodations are identical. Um, this is the main pool. The main pool is actually three layers. It, go, it flows from here into that, into that, down into the beach. It's very, very gorgeous, very upscale. The price, just to give you an idea what the price is here, actually, because this is really quite high end. This is roughly about $1,000 a night uh, per, uh, per couple. Uh, per room, thousand dollars a night per couple, and but it is also twenty-four hour room service, and uh, you know so if you wake up in the middle of the night and you want to have uh, some lamb chops and some champagne delivered to your room, all you have to do is uh, pick up a phone because each guest gets a phone when they come in, and you're also assigned your own personal ambassador. So you call your ambassador. You say, "I'd like to have a bottle of champagne, this and blah blah blah," and it's delivered. Wow, that's amazing. Oh, yeah, so not only is it uh, all-inclusive, but it has a Michelin chef and 24-hour room service. So this is really quite spectacular. And uh, this is one of our restaurants, uh, you know, and, and uh, as I said, it's not just a mini bar. You have your own bar right in your little uh, veranda area with the, where the plunge pool is with bottles of liquor. And, and they're replenished. If you drink something is gone, you just it's replenished for you immediately. This is part of the beach area at Hammock Cove, and the uh, look look at the bathroom. This is just the bathroom. This bathroom is the size of some apartments in New York. I mean, look at the bath. Look at the shower. I did I did a, a fam trip actually to Hammock Cove um, uh, earlier, um, and we I think we had about we had like uh, thirteen agents and myself. And we all went into that shower, into that. Well, we had we had our clothes on, but we just wanted to. <laughs> I just wanted to prove. I just wanted to prove this the, how, how how large it is. It's a wow. it's a just the bathroom itself is large, you know. And then you got the two double sinks. The, I mean, the it's just gorgeous. And this is the living room area. Now, remember, you can get a a, a, a view, a little glimpse of the plunge pool, and then to the right of this plunge pool. To the right of punch around the corner is your main bar that is fully stocked with bottles of whatever you want. There's a television, there's seating fans, there's air condition. As I mentioned, it comes with your own personal ambassador. And by the way, I should mention that there are only king beds here. There are no doubles or only king beds at Hammer Cove in the 41 suites that, that, that they've got. Okay. 
So, and Hammer Cove is a solid five star. Now we've gone from Hammer Cove five star to a three star property, Jolly Beach Resort, which is quite affordable. And the interesting thing about this property is that it sits on the absolute best beach in Antigua. It was just reopened. This was actually closed during COVID. And uh, Elite and Resorts took it over, upgraded all of the accommodations and has and have reopened it. It is now Jolly Beach Resort, again, adults only. This is the most affordable property on the island. And what's interesting about it is that, and, and again, it's fully all inclusive. Let me just go back. It's fully all inclusive and uh, adults only. Fully all inclusive adults only. So keep that in mind, Jolly Beach Resort. If you're looking for great value for your money, you know, without compromising anything. You still have, now you're not going to have like, you know, the premium liquor, like, you know, champagne included and all that, but liquor is included. All your drinks, all your meals, everything included uh, at Jolly Beach uh, Resort in Antigua, okay? Coco's, Coco's Hotel is one of our five-star properties. Now, Coco's is, can be quite challenging if you've got clients that have issues Walking issues, for example, you'll notice that it's quite hilly. So it, it is a spectacularly beautiful property, again, with private plunge pools and two lovely beaches, a beach on this side and a beach on the other side. But it is very challenging in terms of getting around. So but if, if, you, if there are no issues with walking, then, then Coco's is certainly one of the hotels that you want to experience. Just gorgeous with private plunge pools, uh, beautiful dark wood. Uh, and this is another one. And this is a sister property, Keone Beach. Keone Beach, what's interesting about Keone Beach is that not again, they have private plunge pool. Remember I said earlier that it's hard to find a resort without a private plunge pool. But Keone also has showers, outdoor showers. So when you're showering, you're actually showering in a completely private area, but it's out, your shower is actually outdoors at Keone. Beautiful, just gorgeous. Hermitage Bay is very a very similar ambiance to the one I showed you earlier, Hammock Cove. Very similar ambiance to Hammock Cove. It's a bit more rustic, but just as upscale. Hermitage Bay, one of the most upscale resorts. Uh, very similar, again, very similar to Hammock Cove, um, but it's just a bit more rustic, okay? Now, you're all familiar with sandals, I'm sure. So I'm going to show you a brief video on sandals. And hopefully, there we go. It's exotic. It's seductive. It's the Caribbean's most romantic resort. On an island of 365 beaches, Sandals Grand Antigua is on its most famous and best beach, Dickinson Bay. Best of all, Sandals Grand Antigua offers two extraordinary worlds in one spectacular resort. On one side is the Caribbean Beachfront Village, authentically Caribbean, boasting calm, crystal clear waters that are perfect for all kinds of water sports. Or simply find one of the many private magical places created for romance and just get lost in each other. More serene, more luxurious, more unmistakably sublime. Exotic rondevals, many with private plunge pools, meld naturally into lush gardens. It's the perfect place for those who love casual Caribbean elegance. On the other side of paradise is the six star, all sweet, Mediterranean Ocean View Village, the ultimate in European grandeur and sophistication. Breathtaking suites with commanding 180 degree views of the sea below and stunning villas with private plunge pools and personal butlers to pamper you beyond imagination. Splendid piazzas and towering colonnades evoke an air of La Dolce Vita. A total of 11 outstanding restaurants to tantalize your taste buds with flavorful dishes from around the globe. 
Indulge in seven bars, where every hour is happy hour, because it's all included, all unlimited. And be mesmerized by authentic island entertainment, inspired by the intoxicating rhythms of the Caribbean. Discover Sandals Grand Antigua and rediscover what love is all about. So that's Sandals. I mean, I'm sure you're all uh, familiar with Sandals. Uh, this is some of the promotions I think that you might be familiar with. They have a promotion that they're running right now. Uh, Sandals Antigua. The Inn at English Harbor, another one of our fabulous, a very European kind of style uh, style property, the Inn at English Harbor. Escape at Nonsuch Bay. Um, Coco Bay Resorts. Now, Coco Bay Resorts has one of the finest, one of the top restaurants, although, although it's fully all-inclusive, uh, but uh, for your clients who are staying elsewhere and they want to dine at a really fancy restaurant, there's a restaurant here called Shurox, which is one of the top restaurants in the Caribbean. I'm, I'm not just saying it's been voted one of the top restaurants, if not the best restaurant across the entire Caribbean. And it's located at Coco Bay Resort. Um, fabulous. Antigua, ladies and gentlemen, that's Antigua. Antigua and Barbuda. Um, these are our contact information in case you want to get a hold of our office or anything like that. We have a, a Facebook page, we have an Instagram page, we're on Twitter, we're everywhere. We're all over the place. Uh, and I'm just happy uh, that I've been able to join you uh, today to share with you the excitement of the destination. And I hope that you are at some point, uh, you're gonna send some clients there, but at some point you'll be able to come yourself because uh, several of our hotels have travel agent rates. And you can always get a hold of me uh, so I can send you a list of the various travel agent rates that are available uh, at all the hotels in Antigua and Barbuda. Thank you so much, Rod. Oh, it's amazing. an absolute pleasure. Oh, oh sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's an absolute Thank pleasure. You. I'm, I'm so happy it's that- uh, absolutely amazing. <laughs> yeah, I love your glasses, by the way. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm trying to work into them. I'm trying to work into them. <laughs> this was absolutely amazing. Listen, I want to get to that resort um, where Oprah has an apartment at. <laughs> oh, yes, All of them are beautiful, yes. but Jumpy Bay. Wow. Jumpy Bay. No, no, this no. Is... I, can't, I, I can't guarantee you that you'll get Oprah's apartment. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I, but, know, uh, I, know. <laughs> I don't think I don't think her apartment is in the pool, but she does have an apartment there. It is that's an amazing property, Jumpy Bay. It's gorgeous. Wow. But then so it's kind of cold. And Galley Bay and some of the other Curtain Bluff, they're all, we have lovely hotels, really lovely hotels on this island. I love it. Well, listen, thank you so much for joining us. Um, can you send me an email so that I can pass it along um, to the agents for the um the agent rates or they can they can email have, you directly? Yeah, uh -oh. I, yeah, I, I absolutely will. Yeah. It, I have your email address, right? So yeah, I will. I'll send you an email because yes. I have a list of all of the agent rates uh, at, at the various hotels, which is good. Thank you. And then I do want to get you on for a follow-up. Okay. So as soon as this is this has ended, listen, I want to get you on for a follow-up because I know that um Antigua and Barbuda are probably gonna have some updates on new hotels, something new. And listen, yeah, and, and, yeah, well, well, yeah, the, the um a Royalton Chic is actually gonna be opening up. Royalton Chic is gonna be when is it? opening up by uh the end of this year. Royalton okay. when are you, Chic. Do you, do you know have two Royaltons? Okay. Do you know when they're gonna release information on it? Um, I, I, I saw a little blurb on it recently, so I, I guess it should be coming out soon. You'll be seeing that soon, but I, I do know that it, I do know that it will definitely be opening up for the winter season. Well, listen, I love it. Thank you so much, Mr. Rod. If my agents have any questions, they'll reach out to you directly or they may contact me and I'll contact you for it. But all I can say is thank you. This was it's a, beautiful. It's really, a really pleasure, beautiful. Tara. Thanks very much. And thanks for having me on. Thanks for inviting me. And I want to thank all your agents. Any questions, let me know. Okay. Thank you. All right, have a great weekend. Take care. Thank you.